Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your boy, Greg Jennings. First episode, the first episode of Road to Mayhem. You are going to experience the journey, the process, the behind the scenes, the, the, the daily grind of what it takes for me uh, to present the physique that I want to present uh, on stage. That is what you're about to witness. The show is October 10th in Duluth. And the interesting thing about this particular event is not only will it be my pro debut, but my goal is to compete in the natural uh, Mr. Olympia competition, which is held in Vegas this year in November. And so in order for me to, to compete in that, I have to qualify. And this is a qualification. This is a qualifying um, opportunity for me if I win this event. So that's my focus, man. Just doing whatever I can to put out on the stage a better presentation than what I did three months ago. I competed in, in my first competition this past June and won my pro card. We're looking at Mr. Minnesota right here, which was cool, but if you're any anything like me, a goal becomes a benchmark. And that's what this is that's what this has been. It's it was a goal to compete in an event. Didn't know what was gonna come out of it, um, how I was gonna feel as far as moving forward, if I was gonna wanna continue to pursue even more opportunities, and come to find out I can't get enough of it. It is a lifestyle that I truly, truly have embraced and, and enjoy. I enjoy the grind, I enjoy the process, I enjoy the journey of, of just taking my body through vigorous workouts and regimens to where I can I can manipulate and pretty much manufacture any type of physique that I really want. Which is pretty cool when you think about it. A lot of it is people think it just is all about what you do in the gym, but it's really more so about what you do outside of the gym. Because a lot of people enjoy working out, they enjoy training, but they don't embrace the idea of the nutritional aspect of things. What you eat, how you eat, are you weighing your food? The commitment to being great in that, that space alone will get you farther than any workout in my opinion, will ever take you. The moment you know you're about to work, mentally, it is something else just jumps in your mind and it's like you gotta <sighs> you'll work up all the way to the hundreds Transparent moment. It's the first time in this prep where I physically feel it a little bit. <laughs> this is the first day where it's like, ooh. -wee. See 
why I mentally got to get my mind right. Deep in the prep, you don't have that food, you don't have those carbs. You don't think about quitting as much when you're full, when you got those carbs. But when you're depleted, you don't have that. The, the amount of, okay, that's the last one. That's it, that's it, that's it. That go through your head that you got to overcome and kind of reject. It's real. That's a wrap for the day as far as training, but you guys, like you can't help but to grow, man. You can't help but to, to make some type of stride in the right direction, in the direction of progression when you train and you put everything on the line. Like I make a conscious decision every single time I come in here, every single day I come in here, that I'm gonna push myself beyond what I believe beyond is for me. And, and sometimes, full transparency, me being in here by myself, yeah. it's a challenge to do that, which is why I have my trainer, which is why I log numbers so that they can hold me accountable. So if last week I got 10 reps at whatever amount of load it was, it doesn't matter if I can't match that load, the output should still be there. Whether I gotta drop the load, because I'm by myself, I don't have that extra spot to get that extra little two, three inches to actually rep that out. It doesn't matter, man. It's in there. All you got to do is be willing to pull it out of you. Nobody else is going to pull it out of you. You got to do it for yourself. I do it for mine. I just got helpers. And you just saw one of my number one helpers outside of my wife. Chris, man. Love him. Love him like a brother, man. Stay inspired. Road to mayhem, baby. We gonna get there. If nothing else, we gonna show up, we gonna represent. We're subjected to the judges and what they think. They don't see this part of the transformation. They don't care about this part of the transformation. All they care about is what am I going to present to them on that stage? But what I'm telling you is, this is where the true dedication is. This is where you're really seeing your work, your diligence pay off. Your ability to wake up every single day and challenge yourself, not only physically, but mentally, in whatever capacity that is, to be better. Um, so this is Go get it.